welcome to another episode of Stuart Drinks Beer. I'm back again with another beer, a glass, and a snack. And in today's episode, we are reviewing Innocent Guns Gunpowder IPA, loaded with citrus hops, weighing in on the better side of 5 at 5.6 ABV. Um, I'm a big fan of the Innocent Guns uh, rum cask one. Um, it is a pretty tasty, tasty beer. So I'm looking forward to trying this uh, gunpowder one. Uh, on the back, it says, think citrus and tropical fruit turned up to 11. That's a little bit of Spinal Tap reference there. That is one more than 10. Um, let's get into it. So, uh, that was pressurised. Nice bit of smoke coming from the top there, or vapour, whatever that may be. Gases, I guess. Mm. Smells quite malty. I was expecting a bit more tropical. Oh, look at that colour. That is a beautiful golden colour. Nice clean head on that as well. Look at that. It's an iron brew. It's good for smell. Still not getting very many citrusy kind of vibes about it, but it's um smells good. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Very clean, very clean tasting. Very bitter, dry aftertaste as well, which is which is good from an IPA. Quite light on the tropical fruit, to be honest. Um, mind you, I, I had a, a lot of garlic for lunch that so might be impairing the flavour just a little bit. Uh, but it's 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 a nice light tasty beer. It would be good with it would be good with a curry. I feel. Mm. Drinks very easily. Yeah, tasty. Uh, we've paired this with um, some Rivita thins, uh, cheddar and cracked black pepper flatbreads. Good source of fibre. Looking after myself, of course. Um, and some random thing I found in the Polish Isle. So I'm not going to try and attempt to speak Polish again because I feel like I just insult everybody. This is beetroot and horseradish jam, chutney, paste, mash, mush. I'm not sure, but the ingredients say uh, vinegar, beetroot, horseradish. More vinegar, sugar and salt. Um, I don't know how to eat this, what to eat this with, so I'm just going to treat it like a jam almost. Um, I guess it might be nice. I don't know. I don't know what it might be nice with. Uh, but let's give it a shot with a cheeky cracker. A flatbread, shall we say. So these are pretty tasty little things to dunk into... Uh, Dips, hummus, whatever you, whatever you like, Duncan. Mm. Nice cheesy black pepper, exactly what it says in time. So let's go for the start of the show. Ooh. Ooh. It smells like um, pickled beetroot, strangely. Um, earthy, hint of um, hint of horseradish. I would be disappointed if I didn't smell that. Ooh, what is that? I don't know if you can see that, but that looks like a hair. <laughs> mm. I, I'm gonna go on the on the premise that that is probably a strand from the. Horseradish and not a not a hair. Um fingers crossed. But let's go for it. 
So I'm going to put a big dollop on the flatbread. It's more, it's kind of, kind of pasty. There we go. Cheers. Mmm. That is exactly what it says. Um, it's pickled beetroot with a little bit of horseradish going through it. I quite like pickled beetroot as it is, and this uh, adding a little bit of horseradish just makes it a little bit of a, a bit of spicy, spicy snack. That is really good. Mm -hmm. mm. That would be nice with. Um, Meats, I feel like some tinned meat of some sort, or a big sli a nice slice of ham. Gonna do a little bit of research, see what you have with that. But that is very tasty. Will it pair, however, with the gunpowder IPA? So it's going along the line of this is gunpowder, this is horseradish, you know, spicy. <laughs> Blow your head off. Um, let's get a shot. Hmm, it's actually livened up the beer a little bit. Um, now that my mouth's, mouth's got a bit of sweetness in it from, from this, you can taste the, the tropical fruit a little bit more now. That pairs quite well. I quite like that. Um, yeah, so, innocent done. Do I recommend it? Yeah, yeah I do. Uh, I think it's a... Um, the whole range is very good for, for having with food, just general drinking. Uh, they're very clean, clean beers, as you can see by the, the colour there. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this one. Uh, and until the next, cheers.